Hey Virgo, welcome to your October 2019 Psychic Tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general tarot reading for October 2019. I switch it up every month. If you've been watching the channel, you know I like to do different readings every month to keep it fresh. This month we're going to be doing a Celtic Cross. The outcome card from this reading I'm going to be using for our Vimeo extended reading and doing another Celtic cross over there on Vimeo to dive deeper into the energies. So the link is in the description. The Vimeo, of course, is purely optional and is just another way to dive deep into the energies. So as you know, I like to give you as much intuitive information as I can to help you manifest your wildest dreams. That's what it's all about here on the channel. So thank you so much for being here, Virgo. You might wanna also check out your monthly October horoscope. You can read it on my blog or listen to it slash watch it on YouTube. The link is in the description. And as always, these are general readings. So if you would like to have a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, the link is in the description. I do astrology uh, consultations. I do tarot readings. And you can work with me live or get a recording. So the link is in the description for all of that. Virgo, I cannot wait to see what the cards have in store for you. I've already shuffled. I'm going to just shuffle two more times really quick to get into it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will consider doing so. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what is going on for you with the energies. I always love to hear from a lot of Virgos on this channel. I'd love to hear from my Virgos. Okay, we got the cards. What's on the bottom? Ooh, look at this, Virgo. Knight of Cups is on the bottom. So hmm, we'll keep that in mind. Let's see what we have for the energies. Oh my gosh, I'm like getting chills laying out these cards. Okay, wow. This is amazing. This is, this is, this is, I'm very excited for you. I cannot wait to share all of this with you. Um, whenever I do a Celtic cross reading, and it's a, you know, I always call these general readings because I like to see what the cards have to tell us about what's important for you this month, right? Sometimes it's love, sometimes it's money, sometimes it's spiritual growth, sometimes it's manifestation. You know, it, it depends, you know, on my intuition and what the cards are, are indicating for me. Um, because I use the cards as a springboard for my intuition. Um, it's not just about giving you a card and telling you what it means. Um, and when I do a Celtic cross like this, there usually is one card that leaps out at me. It's not always the same in the same position and it's not always a major arcana. Um, what I really feel from this energy Virgo is that, and I'll go through all the cards, is that you are finally moving on from a situation that you've been working very hard to manifest, but things hadn't maybe been quite gelling yet, um, but they gel, they come together this month for you. Um, and for many of you, this is in the realm of finances, which to me is not really surprising in the sense that Mars is in Libra in October in your second house of finances. So it's not surprising to me that that's going to be an emphasis for you this month. Um, what I will say is that you have to trust in the timing. You have to trust in the divine timing. Um, there could be a situation where you're going to get frustrated at first. You may get a message that frustrates you. I'm going to go through all this, but but it's okay. Like, don't let it rattle you. All right. Okay. Let's let's get into this because this this is really 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 good. Very excited for you. Okay. I'm gonna I'm just gonna I think go right through the reading, um, and I will tell you the card that is leaping out at me. It is in the near future. So, okay, at the base of your reading, you have the Emperor card. So what I love about this Virgo is that you are very much rising to the occasion. You're like, you know what? I gotta take charge of my life. I gotta take charge of this uh, situation. And of course, Virgo, you are not afraid of taking charge and of doing the hard work necessary to create a change. I mean, Virgo, you you know, you're all about work and service. 
well, not all about, but you know, you know what it is to work hard and you're not afraid of it. The recent past is the Eight of Pentacles. So like I said, you've been working very hard to manifest a certain outcome. I feel because of the outcome card, this is concerning finances, but I mean, really, it could be concerning any personal goal of yours that makes you feel a sense of pride and gives you self-esteem. Because when I read pentacles, I also read them as self-esteem and confidence, okay? So, you know, I try to make these readings as applicable as I can to as many Virgos out there as I can, but, you know, take what resonates for you from the reading in terms of applying it to your situation. So what I am seeing is that the last eight weeks, so the last two months in particular, so your birthday month, you know, Virgo, I'm mean, excuse me, August and September, right? Last two months, last eight weeks, you have been working very hard to take control of a situation that you want to really change and manifest. Most of you, it's going to be money, okay? The present position, you're going into October with a big up-leveling and change in your mindset, Virgo, okay? Because you've been doing the work. You've been doing the work to make the change happen. So the Knight of Swords is coming in saying, okay, so you've done the work. Now let's like raise up your vibration, change your mindset, work with the law of attraction to let go of this sadness. So there is some sort of Disappointment. I don't feel this is really sadness. I feel like there's a disappointment. Something has disappointed you, perhaps in terms of your progress, your movement forward. Hard work is great. There's nothing wrong with hard work. Hard work can bring rewards. But sometimes you can get even more rewards when you marry the hard work with a change in mindset. When you raise your vibration, allow, trust, etc. You know, all those manifestation techniques. So that's what I'm feeling like. You have done the hard work and have taken control of a situation. You want a better outcome. So there has been a disappointment thus far, all right? You're not exactly where you want to be. You're going to get there. You're going to get there. Um, so this is more a change in your mindset to put this disappointment to the side, put it in its place, let it go, because you don't want it to affect what you're trying to do, what you're trying to manifest. This also is mindset. This is the card that's over your reading, the Eight of Cups upside down. I feel like there is an emotional button that's being pushed for you about this particular situation you've been working so hard on. So like I said, hard work only gets you so far. The rest of it is about your vibration. It's about your emotions. It's about your mindset. So there is something here that you're just like, God, you know, yeah, this is, this does, if I sit here and think about it long enough, yeah, I'm making the connection that this disappointment is also a disappointment that reminds me of something from my past. Okay. So there's an opportunity. What I love here about this is there's an opportunity to revisit emotionally. Eight of Cups upside down. Revisit emotionally a disappointment from your past that you can now change in the present moment by changing how you look at it, changing how you think about it. Okay? That's freaking fantastic. And as soon as you do that, as soon as you make that connection between the emotional disappointment and how it's affecting your mindset and how it's affecting your level of achievement thus far, guess what happens? Here it is in your near future, the wheel of fortune, the wheel will turn in your favor. I mean, that is beautiful. So this, this number 10 here, we have, we have a number one. I have another number one as your outcome card. So there is a fresh start that's being brought to you through divine timing. I feel like almost instantaneously, the moment that you make the connections I just explained between your emotions and your thought process and a disappointment from the past and you transform it, the wheel will kick in and the karma will turn and the situation will turn, okay? Because a lot of you have been waiting on something. You've been waiting on the change. 
the change is going to come from inside you first. I'll get to the card in your heart in a second. But what I was referencing earlier in the reading is this page of wands upside down. So at first, until you make that connection, there could be some sort of message that comes in that um, it causes you to maybe, maybe have a reaction where you go and do something um, a little immature, having an immature reaction. Now you may have that in private. You may have a little temper tantrum in private. Um, you, you know, you may have a little meltdown in private, but this is in your environment. So there could also be, I'm sensing there could be somebody in your environment who um, also does not, they're very doubting of your abilities. Let me just put it that way. They're doubting of your abilities to manifest and make things happen for yourselves. And they may even kind of make some digs and tell you that. Um, and I would advise not to really engage with any of that. But so there's this, there's this little bit of energy that's floating around out there in your environment in October. Do not buy into it at all. Okay, don't buy into it. I don't feel like this is motivated from jealousy. I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling it's really whatever this person's attitudes are expressing towards you, it's rooted and grounded in their own sense of lack and powerlessness. And they're projecting that onto you, Virgo. Okay? So don't buy into it at all. All right? Because you have beautiful, let me tell you, beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. And the outcome card is freaking beautiful too. So stay centered in this and stay centered in doing the work to make the emotional connections, like I said before. Now, in your heart is the tower card. So you're going to have a major revelation, a major epiphany with the connections, like I said, between something from your past that was extremely emotionally triggering and the current situation that you're trying to transform. And when you make that connection, you're gonna, you're really gonna have an oh my God moment. I mean, you really are, that's in your heart. Like, this has been the situation. This is the realization. This is the epiphany, like, wow. I call this, because the crown is being blown off the top, I call this the mind blown. Like, your mind is gonna be blown. But also what I love about this is that I feel like in your heart, something's been blocking your progress. It's this unprocessed emotion. And this tower card in your heart to me means that that blockage is going to be blown out and, and away. You're going to get rid of it. The emotional blockage that has prevented you from manifesting um, beyond a certain level. Okay? Because you have manifested some good stuff. Remember, this is in the recent past. You know, you there's a next level you want to go to. So I love this for you. Your hope and your fear card is the sun upside down. So this is still a beautiful card, even when upside down, but it's more the idea, Virgo, of is my happiness ever going to arrive? I'm worried, is it ever gonna arrive? And I'm hoping it will come, right? And so it's that, it's that type of energy. And look at this outcome card. Look at this. Look at this, 10 of pentacles. Now I'm gonna take this card and dive into the energy over on the extended reading on Vimeo. But I can just tell you, just, you know, from all of this, and look, we have the wheel within a month. So for some Virgos, it'll be by the end of October. For others, it'll be by the end of November, okay? But, because you may have to give a little time to have this emotional process happen and for the epiphany to happen before this manifestation occurs, okay? And this is a general reading, so, um, but you should see the wheel turn in your favor so that if you have been looking to become more financially stable, to feel a greater sense of purpose and self-esteem from a new job offer that could come in, because this is about having all the resources you need to have a stable foundation, to have a stable family. This is related also to home and family. So, and there's two tens here. So this could be within two months, one month, you know, we go with the, <laughs> we go with uh, either one here. Um, but the wheel will turn. This is very possibly some sort of offer 
that will come into you. Now, the other possibility with this energy is that there could be one thing that comes in, but it's not right because we have this in your environment. I already explained this, how I feel like this is more of a person or you have a kind of meltdown as you're processing and waiting for the wheel to turn. I mean, that's possible, but it's also possible that there's two offers. There's one that comes in fast, but it's not quite right. If you hold out, the other one will come in and it will be better. So that's a possibility with this, with this energy. Um, it's also possible if this goes, if this energy goes into November for you, because energy is fluid, right? It, this could flow into November. It is possible that you hear from somebody from your past, a past company you were connected, connected with a past association, a past colleague, and they bring you an offer. If it's something from the past when Mercury's retrograde, it can usually be trusted. All right. So this is great energy, Virgo. You have a lovely month here to make really breakthrough. It's a breakthrough in terms of whatever's been stopping you from achieving something important in your life. Because for some of you, it's not going to be about money. It's just going to be, be about more of a sense of achievement and feeling the self-esteem. But this is a breakthrough month, breakthrough month for you. Beautiful energy. All right, Virgo, I am going to dive into this over on Vimeo. I hope you will meet me over there and leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on with your energy this month and how the reading's resonating. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Stella Wilde, signing out.